What's up guys? Welcome to your 81st Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again with me Travis and what we're going to go what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to kind of get back to the basics, do some more stuff with the the XML layouts and kind of show you some more examples and how to you know, we're just going to create these small little applications so you guys can customize your app even further. Um, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically learn about the sliding drawer. Um, and that's basically what this is. You're like, what? Well, that's just a button. But basically, it's not a button because when we click it, we can slide this up. Um, and, you know, we have something within this uh, drawer for the most part. And then we can do something else and then slide it back down. And then here's our other ac activity. Um, so as you can see, I mean, this is the graphics aren't that great. You can create your own kind of. Um, type of handle to make it look better but uh, as a graphic or something and then you can still slide it up check some preferences or something like that and then slide it back down pretty simple I don't know we might get into the animation depending or I mean the Java um, how to you know use some of the methods that this sliding drawer can actually access but for now we're just gonna create this here um, pretty simple so first I want you guys to create a class called slider um, extends activity uh, then also create a layout called sliding all lowercase uh, within your on create method again get that set up in your manifest in your menu class uh, nothing nothing new there and then so we're gonna open up that sliding class here and the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put in the contents of what we want in our in our in our drawer for the most part. Um, so what we're going to just deal with now is just a checkbox. That's all we're going to put in our actual drawer. And the reason I'm doing it this way is because the ADT kind of is messed up. It's kind of bugged out. So as you can see, when we now go over into our composite, um, this is where the sliding drawer is right here. When we drag this over, it's going to give us an error. But just drag it over. It's going to work, I promise you guys, when you run on the emulator. And see, as you can see, it's giving us an error. It can't find the class called sliding drawer. That's just a uh, Android problem. It's you know, it's a bug. Uh, we're just going to have to deal with it. And then we're going to go back into our sliding, or the actual XML view here. And uh, that's why I had you add that checkbox first. We're just going to grab this checkbox. Control X, and we're going to put it within this linear layout here. So um, just open up that linear layout and paste your checkbox here. And basically, what's happening is we create a sliding drawer and we give it an ID that we want to reference in Java. So we're just going to call this uh, sliding D, sliding drawer, sliding D. And uh, then we also give it a handle ID and we also give it a content ID. Um, again, that's all with the app plus and then whatever we want to label our ID as. And then within the sliding drawer, as you can see, it closes here. Within here, we have a button and that's basically our handle. Just think of a drawer, like your dresser drawer. Um, that, this right here is our handle, this button. So we can pull that handle up and down that's what this uh, again that's what this button is and it just says handle right there as the text and then the ID we also uh, establish an ID for the handle as at plus ID um, handle and then the other thing that we do is we say at plus ID content um, for a linear layout which is the actual content of our drawer and as you can see both of uh both of these ID, this ID for a linear layout matches the content ID of our sliding drawer and same with our handle the ID is the exact same right here so that's something you guys want to keep in mind is when you create your handle ID, or your handle here in your sliding drawer because you are going to need this handle and this content and then you set up your IDs as the same as your as your handle and as the same as your content so there we go we basically have created this application and we're just gonna set this uh, this checkbox ID to something like CB for checkbox and then we're gonna say slide 
a bowl something like that and we're pretty much done with this tutorial in the next tutorial uh, we're actually going to program it and make this check bark checkbox uh, do something uh, pretty special and for those of you that follow this series all, all along you probably know it's probably not going to be that special but anyways hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and I will catch you in the next one have a good one peace